Today I'm going to show you a really yummy summer treat um, using your Zoku Popsicle Maker. I did a video on how to work this and how to use it um, a while ago, and I said I was going to do some more recipes. Well, here they are. Um, yeah, this is great for the summertime and can really cool you down on a hot day. What you're going to need is, of course, your Zoku Popsicle Maker and all the accessories with it. If you don't have a Zoku Popsicle Maker, you can take the recipe and put it in regular popsicle molds to put in the freezer for 24 hours or whatever. Um, but it works better with a Zoku Popsicle Maker because then you can just make it really quickly. Okay, um, and then of course you're going to need your lemonade. Um, I'm using regular lemonade, but if you want to do like a couple, um, you can also... Uh, different kinds. You can put pink lemonade in there as well, and that'll make it really cute. Um, I'm putting some fresh mint leaves. I just went out and picked some from our garden. Make sure they're nice and washed. And then you're also going to need um, some cold water. I say about a cup and a half. I put two cups in here because I don't know exactly how much I'm going to need, but um, a little, you know, just some cold water. You can use tap water or filtered. And then a spoon. So let's get started. Okay, so first you're going to want to start by opening up your lemonade, of course. And then um, each lemonade like that you get, um, it comes in a powder, most likely. Um, and it has something on the back, like says if you want to make one quart, use four scoops or two scoops or however much. Um, so make sure to read the back. But right now, I just have one and a half cups of water. I'm just going to start off with this. I might have to make more or so, but I am actually just going to wing it and like put some uh, lemonade in there and then taste it every now and then. And then if you want to make like lemonade for the popsicles and then you also want to have some extra, you know, to give to the adults or whatever, just regular like drinking lemonade. Uh, then, you know, just make whatever you need. But I'm just putting this in here for now. And, of course, if you want to do pink lemonade, do the same with that. Okay, um, I'm just going to taste it real quick. Let me taste it again. I think that's really good. You still want it sort of sweet and sort of tart. And I think, well, that is perfect. So I don't know what to tell you how much measuring, but just uh, test it every now and then. Get your kids to test it, whatever, so that um, it's a good flavor, you know, too, not too sweet, not too sour. Okay, so now we're going to get our Zoku out of the freezer. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your mint leaves and you're going to stick them down into the mold. Press them to the sides, you know. You can shred them up too. Um, if you have like fruit slices and things, it might work it, they might stick a little better, but since the Zoku is so cold, they'll probably stick to the side if you push them. Just put as much as you want. And then we're... Okay, so we're going to put our thing in here now. Um, our handle stick, in case you're wondering what the thing was. And we're going to take our lemonade and just pour it slowly up to the fill line. And now we are going to wait about six to ten minutes. 
um, till it is nice and frozen, and then uh, we'll get back to you. Okay, so now we're just going to put our Zuku spinner on top and twist it on. Yeah. Okay, so we just finished making uh, these two. Here's one. And as you can see, you can like, if you rub your finger over it, you can feel the mint in it, and it's really cool. And then this one was the one I made earlier. Um, as you can see, I took a bite out of it. Uh, you can't stop eating it. It's so good. The mint is like, really adds a lot more flavor just in like the lemon and the sugar and you know our mix. But uh, one thing that I found out, it was easier to stick the mint to the side of the walls on the second one as you see. It didn't all go to the bottom which would be the top. Um, because I had already made one and the sides were sort of sticky. So it was easier the second time and the third time. The third one actually someone already ate. So I just have two to show you. The other one looks like these two though. And, um, oh, another thing is if you don't want to like, if you don't like eating mint just like regularly, because you can like just swallow this, like, well, you'd want to chew it too, but like you can just eat that. But if you don't like the feel of that, then you can, as I showed you, you can crush it up and put it in so that you don't like just eat the entire leaf. It's like a little bit. So you still get the flavor, but you don't eat the entire leaf. I like the way this looks though with the leaves. I think that is just... So cool looking. I love it. You can't see it that, that well, but it's really awesome. And I'm going to eat both of these, but I still have to give them away um, to my brother and things. But we're going to go swimming, and it's we're, they're super duper yummy. They're like eating lemonade. Basically, it's like eating a really yummy lemonade. So tell me if you tried these out. How did it go? Leave a video response of you making these or any of the recipes we have here on So Crafty 101. Um, or, yeah, send me anything. Or if you have any ideas for more popsicles, you can also cut up strawberries and fruit and put them in here too, um, into your lemonade popsicles. But, yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful summer and spring. And, yeah, love you all. Bye. Ba -da -da, ba -da 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 -da.